Um, I'm gonna do a short review on the Altron NVG10 helmet mounted night vision device. Um, mounts on the helmet and nice and small. So before I begin let me just put this into context. Um, we get a lot of inquiries about specifically night vision equipment. Uh, obviously people see this on, on Navy SEALs videos and TV shows, uh, movies and then everybody wants a similar device. Why? Simply because it's helmet mounted and then obviously it leaves your hand free so you can do a lot of stuff with your hands while this is then obviously mounted on your helmet. Okay. Um, at the same time trying not to look like a knob like I'm doing at this stage but if my if my device is mounted on my helmet this obviously leaves my hands free for a lot of things I can shoot I can um, scale obstacles I can open gates close gates I can drive I can do a lot of stuff now if people look at movies uh, TV shows military type of TV shows military movies then they obviously want similar devices now the stuff that we see on movies and on TV shows obviously are high-end stuff. It is not stuff that's available to the civilian market in South Africa specifically. Uh, for overseas viewers this is made, this review is being done uh, with South Africa as the main audience. We are restricted uh, as civilians in what we can buy and therefore the companies that sell these are restricted as to what they can sell to civilians for instance in south africa the highest or the best quality night vision that you can buy is a generation two plus uh, anything above that generation three and more you are not allowed to buy and the suppliers are not allowed to sell these to the civilian market so we must keep that that's the first thing that you have to keep in mind uh, the u.s military and other first First world military militaries use obviously the high end equipment Gen three and and so on and, and up. So the first question as is, as a civilian or the first answer that I give to civilians that asks me this question is what is your budget? Because I can get you a Gen two plus device that can also be helmet mounted. If you are willing to pay 60,000 Rand and up, um, I don't think that kind of budget fits the purpose for which this thing is de designed. So we need to keep that in mind. I think budget will determine what type of device you'd like to have and obviously what type of device you will be buying at the end of the day. <laughs> so enter the OWL, the Altron. NVG, NVG 10 which is a digital device and it comes in into the market at around the 12 12,000 between 12 and 13,000 rands mark that then also includes the bracket all right so it includes the bracket and it comes as a set um, which is nice because you don't have to go around looking for brackets and you don't have to go around finding your own brackets and so forth and so on. Right, this device uses a normal 18650 battery. If I can just open it. I've got a Speros battery in here. It's a 18650 battery. All right, uh, which then just pops in. What I like about the Speros batteries obviously is the fact that you can charge them with a mini USB on the battery itself so you don't need, don't need a separate charger. But included in this in this box is also a charger for the battery. So you get the battery, you get a charger, uh, you, rather you get the device, you get the charger and you get the bracket that fits on your helmet. Now for the purpose of, of this unboxing or this uh, demonstration um, I'm using an airsoft helmet so adding it or clipping it onto your helmet is very easy it's just got this 
little slide there that locks open the clip as you can see there and it didn't just clips into your helmet the top part and then the bottom part you can just clip into the helmet so that it clicks in and the bracket is on the helmet so what's nice is you've got a couple of settings that you can set here right and it can go up and down depending on what the screws are easy to reach even if the helmet is on your head um, it's easy to work the screws I can just work the screws and move this thing up and then I can just tighten it and it will stay there and so on and so forth okay the device itself clips onto this bracket you can see there it has a little u-shape there and the device itself then has this circular tube that then just clips onto the bracket as such right so all you do is you just clip that on and you tighten that part and your device is now mounted so if i want this thing to flip down i have to fiddle with the with the settings here get this thing in front of my eye and apologies i'm keeping my glasses on otherwise i'm going to look in all directions except for the camera all right so now the device is in front of my eye i can also set this change this and it can go onto my left eye so there we are the device is there this thing weighs a couple of grams according to the specs it weighs about 240 grams so that's not a lot um, if I have it on my head it is not that top heavy if I fasten this belt at the bottom obviously the helmet will sit more securely and that means this whole thing is a unit the issue I have with something like this is if you walk around like that for for half an hour especially when the device is turned on um, and you take it off you take it away from your eye then you've lost your night vision in this eye for at least another half an hour so if you want to use this um, extensively throughout the night keep that in mind uh, maybe a good idea is if you are shooting with your right-handed eye or if you are right-handed this is your dominant eye or shoot your right-handed eye then put the device maybe on your left eye okay because please also keep in mind that this is not similar to the movies where you've got that laser on the gun and you can see the laser this is a digital night vision and the main thing behind this is that it's going to give you the edge in dark spots so where typically would I use this all right first of all the manufacturers claim and they claim so very loud and clear on their spec sheet is that you can see up to 200 meters with this now that's nonsense okay and if you expect to see 200 meters with with this device or something that's priced in this class then you are mistaken then you are missing the complete message here because a device priced at about 12 13 thousand rand you will not be able to see up to 200 meters um, that usually is given as an indication under perfect circumstances but that's still nonsense to me okay so we tested the device and at the end of the video we'll put some some photos and videos that we've taken um, we've tested the device and it's effective up to about 50 maximum 60 meters you can still make out uh, an object a person human be being standing at at 100 meters on a dark night a moonless night with ambient light coming from around um, but 50 meters 60 meters that is what i would think well, that's what I'm my claim on this thing is 50 60 meters effectively so where would I use this and I think that's that's the main part if you are looking for a device that you want to see somebody at two kilometers then please get yourself a proper handheld device that's going to set you back 50 60 grand um, but that is task specific that's made for that that's what you're going to end up paying you're going to end up paying for something that's a generation 2 or one of the latest thermals but it's not going to be this device Okay, a helmet mounted device in any case according to me and you are allowed to differ from me but a helmet device a helmet mounted device according to me is for CQB it's for close quarters 
It's while I'm moving around with my gun, I've heard something inside, outside my house, around my form, around my setup, um, but all in a 50 meter radius, and I need to move and look for somebody. Okay, that's when a helmet mounted device is going to come into play. Now, if you look at th that functionality um, in this price bracket, then this is the perfect setup for that. Okay, we've tested it in dark corners. Um, using the IR illuminator because the IR illuminator that has it that it has on has got three settings you've got IR 1 2 and 3 and then you can switch it off also on IR 2 you see a small little red dot on IR 3 you see a, a little bit more of a red dot but it's not it's not that discernible that that will actually you know catch the eye of a criminal and you have to look at it head on straight on otherwise you're not seeing it. so using IR 3 uh, on a moonless night in very very dark corners around the house we were able to see very clearly so this this is where this device comes into play so for 12 13 between 12 and 13 thousand rand obviously this is what is going to set you back you've got a helmet mounted device you can get yourself an airsoft helmet um, you can also mount a torch on the side you can mount a camera on the side if you want to but we'll get to that part now um, and then you've got hands free but don't expect this device to do what a handheld device should actually do keep in mind we are not military we are civilians that is very important that you keep that in mind and if you expect military spec equipment you're going to pay a whole lot more up to a certain point thereafter you're not allowed to have it it is what it is i'm not making the rules i'm only saying what it is right this device also has got a bluetooth function so it can connect to your phone so as you are walking outside and you're connected to a phone inside the house, somebody on the inside can watch it on their screen. They can see what you see. And it has also have a recording function, which then records on the phone via the app. So you can also have your own phone in your pocket or somewhere and you can record what you see. That means you've got, um, you've got the duality of that. This being a digital device, it means you can use it in daytime and nighttime. Okay, so I can switch it on during the day and I can use it at night time. This is not infrared normal night vision. This is digital night vision. This means I can use it in both day and night. So all in all, um, for what you get in the box, charger plus mount plus the device for under, th under 13,000 Rand, I would say it's a very good buy. Um, keeping in mind that you'll be you will be limited to 50 meters so don't expect to drive with it at night um, if you drive at night and you switch on the ir ir illuminator um, that reflects against the, the the windscreen of your car and it doesn't reflect outside so it's not it's of no use to you from inside the vehicle so it's not a good driving device as well okay so if you want something like that you're going to have to if you want a driving device you have going going to have to look at something Gen 2 and up, Gen 2 or Gen 2 Plus. That's that's the stuff you're going to have to look at. So um, we'll put this device obviously on our website, links below, and anybody who's on the loan operator course, you will then qualify for a discount. And the device will be available via the portal for you if anybody is interested, or else you can just pop me a message if you are on loan operator. So yes, that's that's our review of this. It's a sturdy device. Um, good quality bracket uh, good quality device everything is made uh, quality wise it's got a zoom function i must just mention that i think i forgot to mention that it's got a zoom function one to six which is a bit of an issue for me because usually if you want if you've got a, a helmet mounted device you actually don't want any uh, um, zoom function on it why for the simple reason if i'm zoomed one to six and i look down to the ground I get a depth perception issue so i prefer to use a device like this without any zoom function but the function is there should you want to use it use it just keep in mind that if i start walking or running and i'm going to start looking down i'm going to it's going to create a depth perception perception issue for me other than that um, it comes with uh, with a nice cloth bag and a little loppy that you can clean it with and so on and so forth but yes all in all a very good buy i think for the price um, and for the piece of equipment we don't have something similar in this price bracket for the civilian market um, 
so yes there it is but keep in mind the functionality of it don't buy this thing and expect to uh, to see a target at two kilometers please it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen 50 meters is your limit and CQB is why and how we're gonna use it right so that's it thank you um, the links will be in the description below